Okay, so it's another really uh, yucky day here today. It's rainy and it's cloudy and it's cold. So it's a gross combination. But I am going to be repotting another plant and making another lazy moss pole. It's really messy in here right now. Let's see. Everything is not where it's going to go. Oh my gosh, it's so crazy right there. I don't like it when it's like this. Um, but I'm gonna do some things and then put everything in their home. Um, I'm also going to do an update on the houseplant tour, like the plants that I've gotten since the tour and talk about um, just what I've gotten since then. And oh my gosh, oh my gosh, what the heck? There is another friggin' caterpillar in my tub. And like this random gross stuff that wasn't here before. Like I know that this was clean. And then some, like there was another caterpillar that I found like right there in the middle of the tub. There's another one there. So they must be coming out of one of these plants. Like maybe this one I'm suspicious of because, what was that? Okay, there's nothing. Um, <laughs> this is the most recent one and just like the way that the plant itself is like stuff could easily be hiding in here oh my gosh disgusting like this is the tub where i bathe my children okay i'll have to clean that and do a thorough search of where these guys are coming from disgusting also this really needs to be repotted my rufidophora um dragon tail but I don't have a pot that I want for it today. I've been curving it around in here, but it really needs like a long planter um, with holes in it. But for today, hey, okay, I'll give you water. Just be quiet. Um, I'm going to repot this narrow leaf silver sword and make a lazy moss pole for it. Okay, so one thing about rabbits is that they drink a lot of water, like a small rabbit drinks as much water as a large dog. Um, also, something I did today is that I chopped up my begonia because it was getting really leggy. So I put some of it here and then some of it is over here and hopefully it's gonna grow back where I cut it there. Oops, Ugh, just spilled some dirt. Okay, all right, on to the potting and pulling. Okay, so I have this empty takeout soup container. I'll need like a saucer for it. Um, and I made some holes using a knife from a dining set that we don't use anymore. And um, I took the knife and I heated it over the stove and made all of these holes in the plastic so that it would have drainage. And I have my repotting mat here from Amazon. Um, it does still get messy though, so I'm not sure how I feel about it. I think because the sides are kind of low. So, I mean, it. I, maybe I'm just really messy. I don't know, maybe I should have gotten a bigger one. Um, I do like that it folds up though, is the thing. So it doesn't take up a lot of space. I can put it away. Let's see, this plant is a little bursty. Okay, so I was like so tempted to buy a bunch of clear plastic pots from Amazon. And I was like, well, trying to not just spend so much money all the time. And I was like, well, I have all of these soup containers that I always make my husband save. And I should really use those. So once I 
looked at all of them and I was like, wow, I actually have a lot. All right, so here is some plastic sheeting that my friend dropped off. He's like my mystery plant friend because I have never officially met him or even seen what his face looks like because he's, he's super secretive on Facebook. But he lives close by, <laughs> I know that much. And um, so super nice, like so generous. He um, propagates plants and sells them, but he sometimes gives them to us for free. Really nice ones that I mentioned and credited to him in my houseplant tour. And he dropped off this plastic for me. Um, and he's super into plants. Grows like really cool stuff. I'm gonna ask him to take a tour over there sometime. <laughs> um, so, okay. This plastic is way more sturdy than the kind that I was using. Although it wants to roll, so what should I do? Okay, so the other one, I bent the edges. So maybe I'll bend this one just like in half. Everything is just like learning as I go. I'm like, it's fine, this is fine. I am usually not motivated on yucky weather days, but I already did some heavy lifting earlier today, so I guess, you know, I got my blood flowing. Okay. Um, take some of this soil out. Okay, so let me put this in here. Okay. And then is this wide enough, I hope? Okay, I should probably take these two apart so then I can figure out how they're gonna go on the pole. I got this um, narrow leaf silver sword from Steve's Leaves, which, ah, so nervous. Um, they are based here in Texas. They're in the Dallas area. Oh no, the rabbit, you see her? I'm trying not to like damage these roots too much. Okay, because I do want, okay, look at this leaf. Mm, came out weird. Okay, let me put a little barrier between us. <clears throat> okay, so I want to put them both on the pole. It was growing pretty straight, except for this, like, weird one i might have to curve it like this a little bit yeah okay maybe hmm. okay so like this looks a little weird but it'll look better <laughs> Um, okay, I'm gonna take some Velcro. I have done like, I think half of the Christmas shopping already, maybe slightly more than half. So that feels pretty good. I feel like, you know, when the Christmas shopping is done, then I can just relax. And of course, like I could just let my husband do it, but I want to choose. I just, plus he's so busy. He's literally been gone like 72 to 96 hours a week. 
which has been crazy because kids have been sick like with various things for six weeks. Which reminds me, like, we were so overdue on our library books. And our fines were so high that they sent me an email and were like, your fines are so high. <laughs> and I was like, please, I can explain. Like, please believe me. Um, you know, I told them about how... We've been sick for six weeks, so oh, I just fell over. Okay. I really need a third hand. Do y'all feel that when you're doing plant stuff? Like, mm, okay, maybe I need two more like ridges on here, which is kind of hard because this plastic is so sturdy, which sturdy is a good thing just doesn't bend as easily, which I mean is also a good thing because then it's going to stand up. I really like the look of clear moss poles. If I ever get to the point where I'm growing the huge plants with the gigantic leaves, then I can well, then I guess I have to make those big metal ones, but for now, my plants are so small anyway that I can do these clear ones that are so much cuter. <laughs> They're invisible. Okay, my hand's already getting tired. Uh, I did carry like a huge TV by myself down the stairs today. <sighs> which my husband's gonna be like, what the heck? <laughs> uh, okay. Uh. Oh, okay, so I was saying about the library. They did reduce our fees to like about half, like less than half. So I'm really thankful for that. That was very kind of them. I mean, I have nothing against supporting the public library like the library is such an amazing resource and the libraries near us are awesome because there's several 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 huge libraries um in our county and we have access to all of them but also if you don't want to drive all the way to a different location you can just request a book and they'll drive it over to your location and you can just pick it up when it's ready like how nice and also there's the online books and the audio books I mean so I'm not mad about you know the fines um, and like supporting them of course I definitely think that they're worth it it's just kind of a lot right now. <laughs> hey. Don't worry, I didn't hit her. I was just like shooing her. I wouldn't do that. She's so cute. This um, white uh, lion lock with the blue eyes is the cutest and she's my favorite even though she's just chewed up so many of our electrical cords unfortunately that's what rabbits do and puppies possibly cats I don't know but I would be surprised if also cats oh wait no I don't want to put moss at the top I only want moss to go as far as where the actual plant is right now. Okay, so, okay, I think I'm gonna attach the plant to here and work like this instead of trying to work um, with everything vertically. Okay, 
so it's going to be a little bit lower like here okay so i don't even need this much moss right now working. I want to get the plant against the moss and hmm, move these leaves out of the way gently. Okay. I feel like I've said the word moss so many times. And the funny thing is, is that um, even though I say it all the time and to talk the text, it spells it wrong so much of the time. It spells it M-A-A-S. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna center it more. I am loving it, okay. So then, um, I am gonna use some of this twine even though I don't have a lot. What else is new? Um, we got a dog. Let's see, I mentioned him, but he's only been with us for two weeks, two and a half. Um, his birthday is coming up. So we are gonna have a little party, you could say, just family, you know, just us. <laughs> but, I got some balloons from the local Buy Nothing group, which is awesome. Love that. Um, we've both, you know, given and received in that group. Um, and it's great because it really saves, you know, things from going into like a landfill. And I love that about it. So many things that like you wouldn't even expect that people would want, you could post it in there and people are like, I'll take it. And it's like, oh, that's awesome because my husband just said to throw it away. And I'm like, see, see, somebody wanted it. <laughs> um, like I had a pack of Nespresso coffee pods that were for the wrong machine. So I posted it in there and it just so happened that somebody else had the wrong pods for their machine, but they had the pods that I needed and I had the pods that they needed. So we just did a trade. But I mean, it doesn't always have to be a trade. Like it's great that people just, you know, oh, whoops, I lost it. Um, give freely and I need to, clean out our stuff too. I used it a lot when we were um, moving, but we actually didn't finish purging the stuff that we don't use because we moved so fast into this house. It happened so quickly because we weren't planning on buying a house. It's just like, um, my dad saw this house, like he was just looking at houses for fun because some people like to, and he was like, oh my gosh, this would be perfect for y'all. And it was, and it is. Okay, so I think I do need more moss up here for these top ones that are growing. This plant has grown so well for me, and I'm not like an expert plant grower, and just, um, the plants that I've gotten from Seeds Leaves so far have all been doing really well, despite, you know, me. And the packaging is done so well. And because, you know, I'm also in Texas, um, it got to me pretty quickly. And the pricing is so good. And there's instructions too for like the first month, don't repot it because the plant needs to acclimate. So that is good to know, which apparently a lot of sellers say that. 
and I have made that mistake in the past. I made that mistake like a year ago. I didn't know that. I got some plants and I was so excited and I bought new soil and new pots and I repotted them right away and they didn't like it. Oh, whoops, I had no idea. I was just like getting soil all over myself with the bottom part of this. Okay. So I think I'm out of twine. I'm gonna have to use um, this plant Velcro for now, which is not gonna be as cute. I'll have to get some more twine and replace it. And I think I could use some more moss at the bottom. All right. Actually, I mean, the green, uh, that's all right. No, I like the, the twine color better because, oh, you know what I could have used? Well, next time, I don't want to undo this whole thing, is um clear nylon thread that I got from Home Depot. It's gonna be for Um, mounting my staghorn fern. Stay open. Okay. So I'm gonna try to get this like in between here. another thing on my to-do list is that I want to mount my staghorn fern but I need something to mount it on and originally the wood piece that I got I ended up giving it to my daughter for her to do a craft with and it was too small for my needs anyway Bunny's over you again, trying to build up like a little wall so that she can't sneak up on me and chew on my plant like if I'm not looking at, you know, in my peripherals. Okay. I really like this moss. I have a package of, you know, the orchid moss from Home Depot. And I wonder what that's going to be like, because obviously, I mean, there's got to be a difference, you would think, between the, like, $6 moss and the, oh, all my leaves look so funny, because they're all going in that one direction. Oh, I think she, hmm, okay, well, it'll figure itself out, like, we'll figure it out, oh, okay. Can lean on that chair like that okay so now hmm, okay maybe i shouldn't have put moss down here actually ah put it in the dirt i wasn't putting moss down here because i was like okay i'm gonna put soil there but then i looked at it and i was like no i should put moss there and now i'm like nope <sighs> okay well it's trial and error this is how we learn i keep reminding myself like it's okay to make mistakes, have to talk to my inner child who maybe was scared to make mistakes, had to make all A's. Okay, I'm okay. <laughs> oh, my foot's falling asleep sitting like this or something okay so we're getting there it looks good i'm really quite chuffed can we make chuffed happen in america y'all like on bluey i don't know if they say it in the uk but they say it in australia and i like it ta-da can you just if you see the whole thing so then 
it's got room to grow and add moss to it. And this bottom part is super light, but it needs some water and I'm gonna put it in a cash pod. Is it cash like the cash on your computer, you know, the cache? I don't know how you say it. Cause it like holds things, right? Isn't that what your computer does? It holds things, is it like that kind of cash? Pot. Okay. Oh, it's actually pretty stable. Let's see. Oh my gosh, it's actually pretty stable, even without a heavier pot on the outside. All right. Oh my gosh, that was so long. Okay, bye.